Hey, welcome back guys. Please hit that subscribe button and help the channel grow. Share my videos and leave a like or a comment if you have any problems. Okay, so let's continue, shall we? So on the requests here, I want us to be able to add two buttons here. And now before we do that, the invite, uh, the, the accept or decline, let's restrict the information on who can actually see this data. So right now, this person sent a request and yet they can see who has made a request. So this is not cool at all. If I go to discussion here, I can still see requests, but I'm not part of this group. And if I click here, I can see exactly who is making a request. So let's begin by first um, disabling the information so that by any chance, if they do manage to get the link in the URL there and navigate to this location, they should not be able to see anything anyway, unless they're admins. So let's go to group.php. Actually, no, let's go to group content requests. And this is where we will put our if statement, but let's copy the if statement from group.php because it's always easier to just copy from what you've been doing. And let's go down here. So we need this uh, query here. Group access. Yes, yes. Uh -huh. So here I want to leave the main div because it kind of contains uh, I'll leave the second one as well. Then I'll put my if statement over here. So which means I didn't need it to be outside the PHP tags, but uh, what the hell, I'll leave it there. So just after the PHP tags here as well, paste that. And then here I want to just say, and if that's it. So and if and if there. So let's see what the if is all about. Let's make sure that the question is correct. Now, if we want to give only access here, so group access, admin, or is it moderator? So if I say moderator, it means even the admin will have access to this, of course. So moderators can do this, so this is fine. Uh, let me make sure that the spelling is correct here because sometimes I get a little discombobulated and forget the spellings of these things only to realize after I have posted the, the, the content. Okay, there we go. So this is uh, incorrect. Yes, there we are. So are you a moderator? If not, tough luck. So nothing to see here. So we will say, you do not have access to see this content. So this is where we write it here. I will say else, full colon, and let us put, you don't have access to this content, exclamation point. Okay, so let's see that. Yes, yes, you don't have access. Mm -hmm. But it's better to avoid even having this thing there. So let's do that right away. So I'll come here and copy that again. Let's go to group.php and write where we are asking the question requests. So let's just put request at the very end so that it's easier. It looks neater if we do in actually put an if statement. So I will put that if statement there and I will put my end if right here. Don't forget the semicolon over there. Okay, so if I am a moderator at least, then you can show the requests thing. So at this point, if I refresh, I don't even see the requests button there. Okay, so we have officially restricted access to who sees the requests, yes? Now, for us to continue working here, we have to log in at somebody who actually does have uh, access. So let me log out here 
and log in as the default user. Uh -huh. And I go to my groups. This is the group. So there are requests here. So if I click, I will see that there is a request. So I do have access. I'm admin and the access level is more moderator. So here, what we will do is, this is one file that is, um, what is this file? User.php, is it? Let me come to group requests here. Ah, this is user.php. So what we want to do is, we change this to user re, uh, group, re, user, uh, let's be more descriptive because it can get pretty confusing very quickly if you have a lot of files. So user group, yes, user group uh, request. So at this point, you can say dot include dot PHP like that. Uh, it's good practice. Just so you know, this is an includable file. So we can start following this convention. It's never too late. So let me copy. In fact, what I just need to do, yeah, yeah. Let me, before I even copy, let me just go here to user.php. This is the content right here in user.php. So this is what we are looking for. So I will just uh, create a new file inside the main folder new file and then copy everything from user.php and paste it here close user.php and then i'm go back to group requests here and copy the file name so that i can save it exactly the same save so now you will not see a difference if i refresh okay very good the only thing is now I can add something different here. So just after the timing here, the break, where is the break down here? I can put an input of type button. But why am I suffering? What I can do is simply go to group.php and look for the invite button because it kind of looks cool already. It's better to use what you already have, like I said. And then we will need a link, of course. So let's copy everything as it is. Come back to here and paste as it is. Let's move it a bit further backward. And the title there will be accept. And we'll have another one for decline. decline don't don't mind the links where the links are leading to for now we just want something working mm -hmm. so maybe the last scene uh, side is important as well because it, it's actually a good idea to to accept people who are regularly online so but let's uh, change the style for this break tag. Let's use clear all, clear both, just so it uh, forces everything to be on a new line like this. Accept, decline. It's just unfortunate that uh, the time, oh, the time is down here. I don't know why I did that, but let's put it before the break. Let's push it there. Okay, that's much better. So, Mary Peary, last scene, blah, 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 decline, accept. Now, I think it's a good idea generally to start with accept and not decline. That way you encourage people to actually accept these requests. And also, let's change the colors. For the decline, it should be something like orange or red so you can know you're about to make the biggest mistake of your life to decline a member. So where is decline here? So I will paste a new background color. Bam. Okay. Now we refresh and there we go. So accept or decline this user. Okay. So this is uh, very good. Now, in order to accept or decline the user, what we will do is we just need exactly the join.php 
where is that join.php this is exactly what we need so i will copy all the content here create a new file right click new file paste everything as it is save the file but not as join but as accept now like i said you see this accept is not really um, very descriptive of what the file is doing so we can say uh, something like uh, group underscore request underscore accept dot php group request accept ah, quite a mouthful but what choice do we have so let's go back to user include this one right here uh -huh. so the idea here is we send both to the same uh, file we don't want to be creating many many files no it can handle an accept or decline uh, very easily so let's name the file as we named it there we'll say group request accept dot php no nope, actually we don't need to put that sorry and then at the end here group request accept okay good so then we supply the group id because we need to know uh, what group we are accepting this person into and then we need to know also the group the the member their user id yes so let's go to the very end here right after let me craft it on one of these first so at the very end here i will put a slasher so we need to know whether it's an accept or a decline yes so here it's accept here down here is actually decline is here decline mm -hmm. so group data here but what what we need also is the user data so friend row is right here friend row copy the friend row and we are looking for the user id of course so here just after the group user id uh what do we do here right here yes let's put another slash now in between here i will put some php tags then equal sign and paste and then close that tag and instead of last name i will change that to user id okay so look at the link again here the link is the page the group id the user id and what action we want to take whether to accept or decline okay 